Maybe you're so used to starting and quitting, or maybe you're just so comfortable with being in your comfort zone. You've been in your comfort zone your whole life. Well, in today's episode on the New Level Podcast, we're gonna be talking about being too afraid to change. Welcome to the New Level Podcast. I am your coach, Coach Jay, and the New Level Podcast is the number one podcast for entrepreneurs and ambitious people who want more out of life, all right? Jumping straight into it, guys, I want you all to ask yourself this one question. What's your tolerance for unhappiness? The reason why I want you to ask this question is because you already already know I'm a very metaphoric human being, okay? I love to ask questions that pertain to other parts of life. What's your limit? What's your tolerance on being unhappy, all right? I know when I used to drink excessively on alcohol, I would have to find out what's my tolerance. I would have to feel, okay, well, this is enough before I start throwing up or being able to not control, I'm not gonna say not control myself, but being too drunk, you feel me? Okay, when I used to smoke, I used to do the same thing. What's my tolerance on it, all right? When we eat, you have a tolerance with that. How much can you eat before you feel so full that now you're in pain, all right? What's your pain pain tolerance, you feel me? So I want you all to ask yourself, what is your unhappiness tolerance? I was talking to a young man yesterday and he was explaining to me how he was always in his comfort zone, being at home, playing the game, eating out, working and being in walking distance to a fast food restaurant. Now, I'm not here to judge anybody, but I've been in situations like that as well. And the reason why we fall into so many bad habits is because they're easy to have access to it. Maybe you binge watch Netflix because after the episode is over, it gives you 20 to 10 seconds to watch the next episode, all right? But I want you to ask yourself, what is your tolerance level of being unhappy? If you're not where you wanna be in life, why are you settling for being unhappy? Why be afraid to make a move that can potentially make you happy when you know if you don't make a move, you're gonna stay unhappy? And then, and then the truth of the matter is, most of us, when we're unhappy, we go to other practices, other habits, to try to make ourselves happy in the moment and then we repeat the process. We just do. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons, personally, I'm gonna open up to y'all, that's one of the reasons why I quit my job and I made sure that I was gonna be an online, online, full-time online coach, straight up. Because I hated the loop of going to a job I hate, then Friday I'm like, yes, I get off, I get paid, you know what I'm saying? And then Sunday comes and then, oh shoot, like tomorrow's Monday, Damn, I gotta go back to work. Damn, I gotta do this. I gotta be around these type of people. I gotta do this task. Nobody likes doing that, bruh. So what's your tolerance on unhappiness? How far are you gonna put up with being in the same cycle of feeling unhappy, being in the same cycle, as soon as you feel unhappy, you wanna do something to release, to get yourself to escape from the situation, and then you repeat it. When you are afraid to make a change, you are making a choice. Just like I said, Lulu Lopez, what's going on? When you are choosing to be unhappy, you are still making a choice. You are still making moves. Not making a choice is still making a choice. You're just saying no to the situation. You're saying no to the opportunity. You're saying no to the choice, meaning you're going to stay being in the same loop. All right? And I'm giving you all the real. The reason why I'm making this podcast, again, is because I talked to someone, a young man yesterday, same age as me, You know what I'm saying? And he was was just explaining that he was too uncomfortable to even make the slightest change in his life. Looking Looking back into his life, he wanted to ask people that he was already around for more advice. If you knew better, you would do better. The point is, you choose unhappiness over joy. And I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave y'all on this note. The world will water down what really makes you happy just to have you in a loop, all right? The world will water down activities that you can do, things that you can have, a great life, a great lifestyle that you can have, water it down and be like, oh, you don't need that. You know what I'm saying? Clear examples. Oh, you, you, you don't need to work out. Why, why you need muscles, man? Like, you, like come on, man. Like, you, you, you got so much, uh, you got this going on, you got work, you know what I'm saying? Get financially successful. Finances make you happy too, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
the watered down activities that actually really make you happy just to keep you in the loop of binge watching on Netflix, eating out consistently, smoking excessively, drinking continuously every single day to get a release just because you don't feel unhappy. I mean, just because you feel unhappy. They prey on the weak. They prey on your unhappiness. Rakim said, I remember when I had addiction and I didn't know how to stop, but I wanted to change. All right, so my man said that he used to basically have a masturbation problem and he wanted to stop. He, he didn't know how to stop, but he wanted to change. They, they prey on the weak. I did too. You know what I'm saying? Like I did too, bro. They prey on the weak. They will look at what really makes you happy, water it down, and then give you something to escape from. So the question you need to ask yourself is what's your tolerance for unhappiness? When is enough enough? You know what I'm saying? You got a tolerance with everything else. Like I said, you overeat, you're going to feel pain. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, I'm full. You push the plate away. How come you're not that way about your unhappiness? How come you're looking at, oh, I'm afraid to change. I'm afraid to, you know, move forward. I'm afraid to step forward. I'm afraid to do this. I've never had a coach before. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, do you understand? Okay, cool. Like, you've never been in this area of your life, but you've also never experienced true happiness without having to lose a part of your consciousness about where you are in life. Example, getting high. <laughs> you feel me? Example, getting drunk. Example, going to the club every weekend. Example, emotional eating. That's a huge one right there. At a certain point in time, I didn't know I was an emotional eater either. As soon as I would feel like I didn't accomplish something during the day, I was like, you know what, let me go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me eat something that's gonna you know, make me feel happy. Let me eat something I really enjoy. Quick gratification, you know what I'm saying? Going up to the drive-thru. Even if it is healthy, it's a part of quick gratification. Why am, why am I doing this? I love eating food. It makes me happy. But I don't want to eat fast food, even if it's healthy, just to make me happy if it comes from an unhappy place. You need to fall, find the root. You need to find the seed of why you feel unhappy. Because every time that you make yourself happy off of being unhappy, you're only escaping what really made you unhappy. You're never solving it. You're never solving it. We like solving issues as human beings. You don't like watching a show that just leaves you open and like, oh, like you don't know who the person is. It makes you like, oh man, like what? It's gonna end like that? That's your life. That loop that you're in of unhappiness is your life. You're never finding, oh, this is where it's at. This is who did it. Imagine if you watched Avengers, Endgame, right? Thanos is the, is the enemy, but they never finished the movie. They just stopped it. They just ended it. You know what I'm saying? A three-hour movie building up the hype. Two-part movie at that. So really six hours, and then you don't get to find out how it finished. Like, who would like that? Nobody would. But that's exactly what you're doing when you don't find the true reason of why you're unhappy and actually working on that part of your life. So yes, you're gonna be afraid to change because you've been in your comfort zone. But the truth is, sometimes it takes you getting out your comfort zone to find out why you are like this, why you are unhappy, and how to truly make yourself happy. Straight up. Straight up, just like that, all right? That's it, that's all I'm gonna say in today's podcast. It was a little bit different. Didn't so much read off of so many notes, but um, yeah. Hopefully you got value from it. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this podcast on any podcast platform, make sure you take a screenshot of this, put it on your Instagram or Facebook story, tag me in it at Ask You Fitness if you got value, all right? Other than that, you know what we do. We stay getting 1% better each and every single day. I'm out. Peace.